the other day, something crazy happened. <laughs> so I went to the outlets, uh, just doing my thing, and I stopped into the cosmetic company store. Now, if you don't know what the cosmetic company store is, basically they get either overstock or just things that didn't sell from previous releases, and that's what they have in the store, and the makeup is discounted. They have brands like MAC, Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder, and Tom Ford. Now, typically the Tom Ford items are never on sale when they have sale, so though the items are discounted from the original price, they are never actually on sale after that price. They're always the exclusive. Well, when I walked in the store, Tom Ford was freaking 40% off. That never, ever, ever happens. And if you don't know, Tom Ford is this extremely luxe, expensive brand. I don't usually dabble into Tom Ford because, believe it or not, even for me, I'm just like, alright, that's, that's too much. But since this was on sale, I went a little crazy, kind of embarrassing, and I just picked up so much things because it was so discounted. Now that being said, the stuff was still expensive at the end of the day, like it wasn't cheap, but based on the original prices, I saved about 50% from their original prices. So I got Tom Ford makeup for 50% off, and I took full advantage of that. Now, not all of this stuff is new and you can't buy it in stores right now, but I know for a fact some of it is. I will put in the description box what is still available and what is not because I'm not super familiar with the brand itself to know right away what is from where and what is sold where. So I will do the research in the description box and I will let you know there. But um, yeah, so I have the receipt, so I'm gonna tell you what I got and for how much. So I'm really excited about these, so I really want to get into these. I believe these are from the Soleil collection from last year? I don't know. So this is the Soleil Contouring Compact. They come in a really nice white packaging with a cover. So luxe, so luxe. And this is in the shade The Afternooner. This is like bigger than my face. And oh my gosh, look how beautiful. So just so you guys know, these retail in store, not the shade in particular, but these retail in store for $110. The discounted price at the store was $81. And 40% off of that made this $48.60. So this went from $110 to $48. That is more than 50% off. So this one is the Afternooner. And then I also got a second one. This is in Soleil Afterglow. And if I can get this open. And this one is a lot more pink. I'm really, really excited about this one. You guys know I love pink blush. So, oh my gosh, $50, originally $110. It's crazy. The next item that I picked up is the cream and powder eye color. I got mine in the shade Young Adonis. And so what this is, is the top part here, you have a pressed powder. And this is just a really pretty kind of gray champagne. And then the bottom, when you twist it off, you get a cream eyeshadow. So this retails for $62. At the store, it was $46.50, and with the 40% off, it was $27.90. So $27 for this, originally $62 in stores, crazy. So right now we have the lip foil, and this is in the shade Spanish Flame, and it's just this really pretty kind of nude metallic color. So this originally retails for $50. $3 at the store, it is $45, and with the sale, it is $27.15. So from $53 to $27.15. So this one's a little less than half off, but Tom Ford lipsticks, they are great, great quality. They're just so expensive for what they are. So $27.15, I mean, it just makes it seem cheap, doesn't it? <laughs> so next, I picked up a moisturizing lip color in the shade Scandala, and this looks like it is $55 originally. So it has kind of like a balm on the inside, and then the kind of beigey color that I chose on the outside. This just looks like it's going to be a great everyday color. Again, is originally $55. You can get it for $41.25 originally at the store. And then with the discount, it is $24.75. So that is a little bit more than half off. 
super exciting. So this next one I was beyond excited to see because I've been watching Scott Barnes do makeup because Tati put us all on to Scott Barnes. Just his way and his technique really fascinates me. So he's been really into cream products and putting them underneath. And then I also watched a tutorial from Patrick Ta where he used this product actually. So this is the Shade and Illuminate Sculptor. This is in the shade Intensity 1. And you have like a cream highlight and a cream contour. So this in store is $88. It is $81 in store. And then it is $48 after the discount. So a little less than half. But I was so excited to see it. It was such a coincidence. Honestly, I literally woke up randomly one morning at 5 a.m. And just like kind of watched, scrolled through my Instagram. And um, I came across the Patrick Ta tutorial. And he literally was using this. And I was like, huh. And then that day, what? Okay, <laughs> moving on. So the next thing I got is a bronzing primer. It looks like this is $76 normally. I don't think that they sell this. Um, I haven't used this yet. I don't really know. I feel like this is going to be kind of like a layering kind of thing. Bronzing primers are something that are kind of in. I've never tried it before. So $76 down to $56. And then I ended up purchasing this for $33.75. Super excited to see how this works out for me. It's very different than what I normally do. I feel like I should do a full face trying these products out because I haven't even put them on my face yet. So next I got a lip color shine. This looks like it's $50. $55 originally. So this one I got in the shade Willful and this is the perfect summer color. That's why I picked this up. So this is $41 in store, like I said, from $55 originally. And then I got it for $24.75. So more than 50% off. And this is like a sheer kind of pinky red shade so these are the type of colors for summer that I love because you can just throw them on without lining your lips because they are a little bit more sheer and they just add so much color to your face so I definitely edged for this one because all I was thinking was summer this is the perfect summer color I also got a lip color matte I'm assuming this is also $55 41 25 got it for 24 75 and this is a really nude color. I'm so excited about this. Ooh, it seems to have a lot of softness and moisture properties to it. I have the biggest weakness for peachy nudes, and so I wanted a peachy nude in Tom Ford. So that's why I picked this color up. $25 for a lipstick, man. That's expensive, but $55 originally, that's insane. So the Tom Ford eye quads are originally $88. I picked up the two that they had in store. I believe one of them is in the permanent line. I will double check on that before I actually say it. But these are $66 in the store and then I got them for $39.60. So over half off. So this first one that we have here is Seductive Rose. This is the one that I believe is in the permanent line. Um, so this one's a little bit more... Let me get this thing off. This one's a little bit more purpley, plummy if you're into purples, which is of course why I had to get this. I love purples. This also comes in that little cover, but it flew right out of the box. And then this one I wasn't going to get because the colors didn't really interest me. This was Starry Night and then I swatched them and they were so pretty that I had to. Now this is more of like a cool tone gray navy steel palette. I wasn't going to get it because like these aren't colors I ever wear, but <sighs> I swatched them and they looked so pretty in store. And you know, you have to take advantage of these for $40 compared to what they normally are. So actually that is the last thing that I got. Like I said, I consider Tom Ford makeup prices to be outrageous, which is why I never purchase any products from his line. I have a few here and there, but not really that much. So when I saw this, I really, really had to jump on it so I can really try his brand. I love luxe makeup. I love luxurious, expensive makeup. Could never find it myself to purchase Tom Ford. And here we are today. I'm so excited. So I guys hope you enjoyed this fun little haul that I did for you. Let me know what you think of what I purchased. If you know anything about Tom Ford products, what's permanent, what's not, what was released in what collection and when, comment down below and let me know. I'm not very well versed in Tom Ford. So tell me more about these products. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.
拜。